Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the M Plus M Hobbies YouTube channel. Today, we are reviewing this locomotive. This is the General Electric ES44 AC in the Union Pacific paint scheme made by Kado. <laughs> Now before we begin this video, I would like to remind you all to please like and subscribe on this video. It would help the channel a lot. Thank you. We're going to begin this locomotive review video with just a little specs about this locomotive. And then we'll get it onto the layout to see it run. Starting off with this side of the locomotive, this locomotive has the nice iconic Union Pacific yellow paint scheme. As well as the American flag on this side with the shield that says Building America. This locomotive's number is 5553, and I also like the locomotive because it's a General Electric locomotive. This is the first General Electric locomotive in my collection. Now we're coming to the front of the locomotive. What I really like about the nose of the locomotive is that there is a nice paint design that has the uh, wings and the Union Pacific shield on the nose. Another great thing that this locomotive has is this little triangular gray thing on the nose of the hood. This is one thing that General Electric has over EMD, is that I like these little corners sliding downwards rather than to the side, rather than in the front. Another thing that this locomotive has are uh, ditch lights. Ditch lights that are on the wa uh, walkway, as well as a nose headlight. Another thing this locomotive has, all of these lights light up, as well as the number boards. Switching over to this side of the locomotive, it is nearly identical to the other side, except there are more tanks here in the field tank area, as well as the handbrake is not on this side. Here in the back of the locomotive, there isn't too much fancy things, there's just a rear light, some number boards, and a coupler. Now the General Electric ES44 AC model is the most popular locomotive owned by Class 1 railroads here in America. You can pretty much see them on every type of train, almost every train you see. So this is a pretty cool addition to my layout because it makes my trains look a little bit more realistic. Now General Electric locomotives have a different radiator design rather compared to EMD. As you can see this radiator design is more of a grid pattern in the rectangles. EMD radiators are more circular. Another main difference is almost all General Electric locomotives have flared radiators. The majority of EMD locomotives have flat radiators that go along the side of the locomotive. Now the EMD SD70 ACE, this is the Union Pacific Heritage Unit by the way, uh, has flared radiators. They're trying to keep with a more modern look, as well as most other EMD locomotives that are more modern also have flared radiators. Now I don't know about you, but I'm ready to see this locomotive run, so let me get it on the layout and we'll see how it runs. 